Hello and welcome to Magda Talk Series. Today we're going to be talking to digital artist Domenico Bauer. In this talk, we will be exploring the poetry of glitch art. Domenico is currently working on a new project called the White Page Gallery. The White Page Gallery is an online network and community, redefining art curating as a social practice. Enjoy the talk. Yay! Yay! We did it! Fantastic! Yay. Amazing! <laughs> okay, that's great. We succeed. <laughs> <laughs> the first let's time I'm doing this. Let, let's toast to that. How to challenge a curator on Instagram. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, it's not, it's not uh, easy. I mean, it's not obvious. Oh, so many people. Hello. Are we, are we going to be able to split the screen and get some more people joining us? I think, yes, they just need to send you a request, as I did. And I think okay. we can be... Hello, so everyone. If you guys would like to sign, um, send a request, I will add you into the live um, chat with Domenico. Maybe try and send it again, Francesco, because I didn't... I didn't see it. Hello, everyone. So we're here with Dom. Tonight, Hello. And we're talking about... That, that's my Mars. friend, Paul. Hi, Paul. Hello, Marina. Hello, Marina. Good evening. I'm Serena. Um, calling from London, as you can see. Shark, shark in the background. Um, and Dom is, is streaming live from Naples. <laughs> from your from, bed, <laughs> Naples. From, from the dark side of the moon. <laughs> and yes i'm not quite sure if i can add some more people but um but anyways i i can see a few of them are following us um so yes if you guys have any question to ask to dom about a uh, glee chart and how he got to start creating um glee chart please just send it through the chat um we are probably going to recap because we had a brief conversation earlier with Veza, uh, Francesco and Brandon um, about Dom's background and how he got to start creating digital art. Um, but perhaps if you want to give us a bit of a background um, about your technique and how you got to start it. Yeah, sure. Okay, I started to make glitch art uh, based on my passion for breaking things and for learning and um, exploring alternatives to the, to the standards. I, I reached the glitch art coming from my research. Um, I was um, studying the works of uh, Stan Brakhage, the American filmmaker, the experimental uh, American filmmaker. So I was working with a photo negative. You know, he, he used to work with a eight millimeters film, and uh, I was trying to apply his same technique to photography. So what I was doing was um, I was bleaching and burning photo negative and trying to find a way to work with, uh, with light. And uh, I was experimenting with projecting photonegative, scanning the photonegative. Then I kind of realized that the, the negative is the equivalent of a, of a JPEG or any mm -hmm. other digital format. So I was saying the negative is, um, is a, a format, you know, is a content, it's, it's, it's something that has information. You know, mm -hmm. and the same was a JPEG. So I was trying to find out a way to bleach uh, a digital format. So I was like, how can I burn? How can I break? How can I alter a digital format? And do you have any and, uh, physical um, um, creations that you've made that then sort of took you yeah. onto the digital? Do you have any to show us? Yeah, the, the negative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the photo. Yeah, I have something. Let me just. Um, I need to have a look. I I, I have it. Um, just need to make sure that I pull this folder without making the whole desk collapse. But uh, I, I will. I will. I will. Don't worry. Okay. I just, <laughs> nice. I just be careful. But I 
I will actually have one. Well, it's not actually a negative, but uh, well, no, that's too cheesy. You can show us. That's the, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, I do, but I I just need to pull this folder out, and I'm just too worried, and it's gonna it's gonna break everything. But uh, while I speak, I I I do this at the same time. You know, I do multitasking. <laughs> so. So when I was I was kind of thinking how can I bleach how can I burn a a file format you know mm -hmm. So I was doing my research online and uh, I was on Tumblr and I came across the work of John Cates who is mm -hmm. a dirty new media based in Chicago and uh is a filmmaker and uh, experimental filmmaker and uh, so John introduced me to the to the bleach art community on Facebook and the glitch art scene online and uh i uh, came across the different techniques and i found out that there was a way to uh actually bleach a file format it was uh, to glitch a file format so i started to experiment with data bending data bending is just a technique that allows to interpret the data within a file format so let's say a jpeg with other software so treat this data not as image data but as text data or uh, audio data so working in this way we can actually access this information and alter this information so we alter the structure and working beyond the standards and uh, in this way we can actually put the software in the position to glitch a, a an image or a video mm -hmm. and it was great it was a great discovery because it's very fun way to work with uh, with image and uh, it actually allows to experiment so some softwares that maybe are uh, you know before i used to consider useless they actually became essential to my art practice mm -hmm. and uh, you know there are so so many software that can be used and um, which software you know, do you use nowadays oh so many i use um, wordpad i use note note plus plus xm view gold wave i use uh, audacity and uh yeah some xv32 and um ffmpeg and you know there are so many but the one that i mostly use are audacity which is a audio editing software mm -hmm. which allows the importing of um image and video because allows to import file as raw data and i work on video track as if they were audio track and um and um i uh, i know note plus plus and uh, xp32 because um it is a very good way to actually see uh, is ex that they are ex editing software mm -hmm. so you actually come across this uh, huge amount of uh, ex decimal information and data and um we mess this information we mess these uh, values and uh, we force the software to you know inter make sense of this uh, authored information and give us an output and then we appropriate this output and implement the images and the video in our art making i see we have a question from uh, brandon and what he's asking is um do you have some favorite digital artists that you follow any of the artists uh, that, that you're following um is any of them your favorite well this is a very hard question nick brits nick brits is uh, a um, american um, is an artist based in chicago and um, i learn a lot with uh, nick because um, 
um, is I, I like the way he approached uh, new media and uh, he makes loads of uh, tutorial as well. So uh, he does this kind of uh, art performative tutorial. So looking at his, uh, at his work is also a way to learn and it's very important. And uh, he's very creative with new media and um, Nick is uh, one of my favorite artists. Remember this name, Nick Britz. Also, okay, we'll take note. Note. yeah, 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 take notes. Also, um, another one of my favorite artists is, um, uh, is called Benjamin Goulon. He's a French artist. And um, I like because Ben does very crazy things with, uh, with software and hardware. And uh, some, some of his uh, practice are also very dangerous. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's, it just really push hardware to the limit. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I think it's very inspiring, you know. It's a kind of a way of, uh, of approaching uh, um, new media with a, a hacker's mindset, you know. And uh, it's, it's, it's very interesting because it's a way to break things and see how things work and totally give a new life to, to anything. You know, I, I work with image and video and I work with digital, but um, you can actually work with a photocopy machine, with microwaves. And, you know, I've seen artists working with all sorts of... Uh, uh, a machine as far you can actually bend a circuit mm -hmm. so you know create some short circuit and uh, it's it's very very fun way um, to to work with new media and um, I totally encourage you to explore this uh, this scene right. there are so many artists you know there are so many that uh, it's very hard you know I I, I like the works of many uh, 3D artists that are artists working with glitch art and uh, uh, 3D rendering. Mm -hmm. And is that uh, I really that you can name? yeah, there is. A, I actually spoke to her today because um, because and, and I am. Somebody is also asking if you can spell the names. I guess somebody would like to see the art of the artists yeah. you've been mentioning. So maybe All if right. we can just write it on the. Yeah, I I take a. I take a post-it and I, and I write the name and I show you. Uh, another artist... Have, um, yeah? There's also a new question coming from Chloe, who's one of the curators as well at Mokta, um, an art historian. And she's, um, she's asking, um, can you describe your work in three words? That's a challenging one. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, oh wow! I never so thought yeah, about three it. Words uh, describing your work for Chloe. <laughs> I, I I have two words, which also which is also my 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 um, artist nickname, which is uh, alter it and uh, and and data and uh, mm. oh wow! The third word I don't know. The third word is. Uh, I don't know, really. I I will I will think about it, and uh, okay, we'll I, I will let you know. Chloe. I will let you know. Yeah, it will, it will come to my mind. It will come to my okay. mind. And uh, I'm just trying to. I really don't know how Ben's surname is spelled. You know, it's French. I'm 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 really bad with with French words, so we look for it. And uh, and Elena Romankova. So I first give you the first name, mm -hmm. Nick. Okay, just a sec. Nick Ritz, which is this? Can you read it? Yes. <laughs> and N I C K B R I Z. Great. And uh, um, I also really like the work of uh, Elena Romenkova. We also have a new question coming from Davi Jose, who's an artist who I had the pleasure to 
meet and see um, an exhibition he had on a few weeks ago. Um, and he's asking, are you limited by your hardware at all? Or is that an issue? Or is that not an well, issue? Yeah. Sorry. So I, are you I, limited I, by your hardware at all? Or is that not an issue? Well, it, it can be, I think, uh, new media can be limited in general new media can be limited by the by the media in a way that you know it's very some me like some machines are not not affordable let's say the first barrier could be the price you know and um but um what i do because i work most of the time i i work with uh, machines that are broken or oh, there are no you know uh, people just gave it to me and um i i i generally prefer to work with uh, with images and video so you know i i have software i can access software very easily and uh, you know open source and um all sorts of apps and uh, i i love to work with a photocopy machine and i have one of that i have two photocopy machine i have a scanner and i like to work with scanner and um, so you know i i like to work with broken screens and i have loads of broken screens and uh, you know um I How think do you keep, where do you keep all of this? Where do you store all of Under this my desk. <laughs> <laughs> Under my desk and in the cellar, you know, when, when it gets too much but I, I move everything downstairs, you know. It depends, <laughs> it depends, uh, you know, what I'm working on at the moment. And uh, mm -hmm. Is sometimes that a it's... Is you're currently doing that you're requiring a lot of um, uh, devices? Or what's your next big big project? Oh no, hello. Uh, no, at the moment uh, I am working with um, generative video. So I'm making a video using generative scripts, and mm -hmm. uh, I am working with. Uh, I'm really focused on a project that uh, you know is um, involves loads of uh, glitch artists, but it is not actually a glitch art project. Is a net art project we are working on uh, developing a network and community a uh, distributed and uh, decentralized network of online spaces for art and it's based on the concept of uh, hospitality you know i i live in uh, in italy but i think this is happening everywhere then you know they're trying to build frontiers and walls and you know the different Brexit and, uh, you know, mm -hmm. this kind of uh, very, cr <laughs> yeah, this, this insane, honestly, insane political agenda. So we are trying to actually turn curatorial practice into a ground to practice uh, human value. Uh, so in the terms of openness and inclusion, hospitality, and uh, sharing of knowledge. So trying to build a bridge and we are using uh, the net and our website. So we are inviting uh, artists and curators and uh, whoever has a website to open a web page on their website mm -hmm. and invite people to uh, exhibit their art, their project. So it's, uh, it works, so we say hosting and guesting. So you have the hosts and the guests. On my website at the moment, I am hosting a uh, an exhibition, which is called Outbreak. And uh, I was inspired by, uh, by a tweet by the Italian Prime Minister, uh, by the Italian Minister of uh, Art and Culture, and uh, it's called Dario Franceschini because we are in quarantine now and um, mm. so many events have been cancelled, he was inviting uh, um, a TV channel to broadcast more um, TV programs about art and culture. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, but we have, we have a, a project, 
the white page gallery is called the project by the way white page galleries and um, i was like oh we can we can uh, answer this uh, this call so we set up a uh, we set up the 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 page and uh, i sent mails i made public posts i made stories i posted in different groups on facebook and tumblers trying to reach as many community as possible and i was inviting people to send artwork and uh, uh to create you know a an exhibition because you know i think uh we we got to stay at home i mean there is no other ways to to stop the spreading of the virus is to Hopefully stay at home. We will find a way to stop it. I'm hopeful. <laughs> well, you know, I'm I don't know. I I'm 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 used to think very positive. I mean, my mindset is that of uh, seeing something uh problematic, critical and turn it into an opportunity. Mm-hmm. And um so you know, I'm very positive, but you know, the the numbers of people getting infected and hospital collapsing you know is very is very uh, critical but i think that it's going to be very long and we need to find a way to stay at home and you know make uh, make the best out of it and i think that's, that's uh, true, cre- yes and that's part yeah. of the reason why we've stopped exactly you know yeah that's that's live exactly So and we got, got to do this you know mm. and uh, so um we are trying to you know invite people to 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 participate in our practice in our project but also you know uh create broadcast and you know creativity can be very contagious and um which is a, we we got to speak the next line thing <laughs> yeah it is an excellent thing you know it's an opportunity and uh, we we can art, you know art won't solve the problem but art can actually be a way to make the staying at home less boring and if you participate in a process you actually keep yourself busy and also keep your mind busy and not think about what's what's happening you know because um we we are pushing donation you know so on our galleries we have listed website and uh, where donation can be made and um, so to reach this website and uh, you know donate to hospital and institutions that are actually uh, fighting the pandemic on the front line and so this is my main project at the at the moment and um, and i'm inviting you know because i come from a glitch art scene so in um, most of the people taking part in the the project are glitch artists but it's not limited to glitch artists we have um, um, actually, college on artists this topic, sorry to interrupt but on this topic i'm just reading eleonora question here um eleonora is one of our curators as well at mokta and she's asking if you curate the show if you have curated the show Yeah well I we are kind of I suppose uh, you we're know we're talking about the 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 white page gallery Yes yes I yeah I think And if you can also type that's... in the the URL in the in the comments Yeah Martin sure I will have to talk about the website Thank you Yeah sorry I need to move the phone I I got this new phone and uh, which is as a very long screen but really really small I don't, i don't know why they're making this font with a really long but really really tight um this is the url uh, one second and yes well we we uh, we are practicing new way of uh, curating you know because we we all come from uh, digital art one second Uh, we all come from uh, a net art background so we are always uh, um practice online new way of curating so we do um collaboration and um let me see if i spell it right there we go and uh, there are um, there are artists but there are also uh, curators uh, there is a, an art academy which is taking part to the project there is an art festivals 
and there are different, you know, uh, professional and um, we say, uh, I don't know, operators from a cultural with different art backgrounds. And um, we are just, um, um, you know, contextualizing this practice in the, in the... I, yeah, sorry, I was having issues with my Can you Wi-Fi. hear us now? Chloe yep. says she cannot hear us. I hope the connection is um, more reliable now. Can Hi, you everyone. hear me? Thank you for joining and sorry that we disconnected. We had an issue with our um, uh, connection. Send through some question and we will have a chat with Domenico from Naples and um, streaming live today on this art chat on digital art and glitch art. So Dom, what did we left it? What did we leave it? I forgot. Yeah, I I think we were left at the uh, uh, white page gallery and um, art yes. curating, and, uh, curating as caring and uh, you know, kind of giving a social uh, value to 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 the art curating, especially now that we are going through this very. Uh, critical times and uh, you know creating together could actually be a way of working together and spending time together and uh, building something together and which is I think is very important in the way that we are isolated but we are no you know alone we are not alienated and um, art practice can be a, art online art practice can be a very good way to to do something during these days. I actually have a question on this um, topic. How do you normally collaborate, or if you've done any collaboration with um, other artists, is that something that requires you to meet in person, or do you manage to, that, to do that um, online? So how does creating digital art online in a collaborative way um, works, or if you have any experience, or what do you think about it? Well, I most of my collaboration are all online, and uh, so we use everything that's out there that can uh, actually uh, be useful to our work process. So um, uh, when we work, like based on my uh, previous experiences, we um, split the tasks and then we mount everything, we build everything together. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of my collaboration uh, are online. And, um, so do you, miss the, do, you miss, do you think you're missing out if you're not meeting people in person? Or how does that feel to collaborate with a fellow artist just by working online? Well, it, it depends because, like, um, if we are both based in, uh, in, in, in Italy, it, uh, eventually during the process we, we might meet. Mm -hmm. we, 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 we meet in person. But, uh, you know, when there is too many hours flying away between, uh, between us, um, I've, online is a great uh, is a great way, it's a great resource, especially because you know the the, the collaboration is um, is actually peculiar to this practice. So you know um, we kind of um, experience the online as a, as a, a normality. You know, it's uh, we just very 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 fun. We are used to, I think, probably this is the the way then. Um, especially in terms of uh, net art and, um, uh, and and glitch art, because the community is very international. And uh, there are often during the year some uh, gatherings, some events where we, we might meet in a person during the festival. But, um, we most of the time uh, interact through social media. That could be Facebook. That could be Instagram, Reddit, Tumblr. Tumblr used to be huge. Then no, no, no anymore. Well, I mean, no, no for me, no for me. And um, so it is. I don't know. We are we are very used by 
uh, exploiting the, the the potentialities of uh, and possibilities of uh, of the internet to mm -hmm. in our in our work practice in our creative practice in our relationships and um, yes it's it's very important i think we are very lucky then uh, you know these days we have we have the internet yeah um, that's very true I, and can i ask you if there's any um exhibition or is there anywhere online or into like a physical location that you're currently exhibiting your works Dom, are you there? <laughs> yes, I was, trying, <laughs> I was trying to find the best spot for the Wi-Fi, sorry. Oh, okay, all right. So I was asking you if you're currently um, exhibiting anywhere, whether it's online or offline. Um, okay. Are you participating I am... in any exhibition? Yes, at the moment, um, there is a show in uh, Rome in uh, Roma, here in, uh, in Italy, at uh, a, a very beautiful place. It's a multidisciplinary art space, uh, music space, design space. It's called Contemporary Cluster. Cluster, and okay. Cluster, yes. Um, and uh, is uh, owned and uh, run by Giacomo Guidi. And he's also the curator of this show that's called uh, uh, There Is No Wind on the Moon. And I'm there with a. I'm part of this group show with a, with a, a video. A video that implements um, glitch art and also machine learning. I did some animation using generative uh, gen, uh, generative adversarial networks. In 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 a physical offline, away from the keyboard, and uh, online, I am I am part of the of the um, white page gallery project and um, and soon i think the wrong biennale is bringing back the website and uh, i have some works there as well i don't know if you know the wrong biennale is mm -hmm. the, uh, the the net net yeah, art I do. it's a fantastic opportunity and um, i love the concept yes and uh, i have some uh, works and um, uh yeah this this is what's happening at the moment great unfortunately, i have one more question for you yeah sorry i was saying you know unfortunately the show in rome you know we open the the the, the exhibition opening the day after the government actually told us that we were not allowed to go out anymore to close yeah they had to bring this restriction on uh and so you know we are we are planning to do another opening as soon you know we things get better hopefully soon of course and, yeah. Uh, yeah fingers crossed we're going to come and visit yeah. you all in rome that'll be great yeah doctors and nurses are doing ama an amazing work mm -hmm. honestly my i i cannot believe the the works they're doing then honestly the, the whole nation is 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 on their And, um they're great very very yeah it's very true i've actually seen some videos going live today on the bbc about people in naples um singing and dancing and doing music from the balconies to to cheer up and keep everyone yeah. positive about the current situation and to support We... all the doctors and uh, nurses as well in the hospital so it's quite amazing to see how communities come together in such a challenging time i i have to say i was uh, i was talking to a friend today that this um, you know we come uh, from a, a very troubled uh, political uh, scenario you know mm -hmm. we have a very extreme far right uh, Uh, party becoming very popular um, and uh, you know it, it was very critical and it was kind of creating this really nasty uh, atmosphere you know this kind of a very 
grades of separation and um, they were not doing good to the health of the nation mm -hmm. and uh, you know very racist especially racist and um, the during these days because this is already tomorrow is going to be one week then we have been at home you know the quarantine and we have noticed then that the the, the population the citizen the, the everyone who's here is kind of really feeling this this kind of a very positive vibes and moods to be united uh -huh. and is thing really then we have an experience in uh, in years and uh, it, it's happening all over the country and um, what you were referring early about napoli it happened in my neighborhood yesterday as well and uh, everyone from their windows they were like uh, you know uh, singing and uh, shouting you know encouraging this is gonna end you know stay strong we gotta we gonna, we gonna be fine and people putting music and dancing you know because after one week you kind of start to feel the the pressure and um yeah I imagine, was, yeah. And how is it for an artist to be to be confined in in their room and uh, creating from there? Do you want to give us a, a show around of the streets, perhaps? Yeah, we can. We can. I just or, on of the your working station. <laughs> oh, well, this is. <laughs> I show you my. This is my working station. Lots of sticky notes. I like it. This, yeah, yeah. I need them. I. I'm bad at memory. This is my my computer, and I can show you outside. I I am in Napoli. Okay. Can and, you uh, just move the cable from the from the camera? Oh, yeah. One sec. And uh, yeah, this is the the streets at the moment. No one is around. I see. And normally the the street is packed with cars and. Uh, and people going out, but there's no one around. And um, well, it's, it's very, I don't know, it's very unusual, well, especially now. Yeah. They are very loud. And, uh, <laughs> you know, and um, it's, it's, it's very, uh, it feels really weird to go out. I was out yesterday for doing like food shopping and you know, going going out with a mask, and we have to keep the um, safety distance. You know, it's, it it feels really. It's very sad, and uh, you know, every you you could uh, you can see that people are are worried. You know, because it's something that we are not used to, and uh, also to stay in a queue and keep one meters and keep distance. It feels like. I don't know. It's 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 really really weird. And mm -hmm. um, and Dom, but that... yeah. yeah, sorry. So, no, no, no. I'm fine. I'm I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you is um, just to just to conclude on this uh, chat we had today, and thank you again for joining me. Um, thank you for inviting me. I was going to ask if um, if you would like to send out a message to to fellow artists out there working on digital arts, um, if you would like to send out a message to, to them. Yeah, sure. What I, uh, based on our experience, um, this is what I kind of uh, understood that, you know, when, it, when this thing started and we are talking about, let's say a month ago, we were kind of cool, you know, like, oh, we're going to handle it, you know, it's going to be fine. It's just a flu, you know. Everyone was saying, oh, it's just a flu, it's just a flu. And so people kept going out and, uh, you know, traveling for work, for fun, for uh, tourism, going out, events. And uh, we spread the virus across the whole country. Yeah, without even realizing. Mm. Without realizing, you know. And um, so what I really uh, advise everyone, artist or whoever, is to stay at home. Because even if it's just a flu, 
this flu can cause a serious lung infection mm-hmm. and you know if you're strong and young and your your health is a uh, is a uh, you know is it is well is powerful is a superhero health you can might pass the infection that the, the virus to someone else mm-hmm. so stay at home and um and stay creative i would suggest and stay creative, yeah the internet is a great resource mm-hmm. so you know broadcast do tutorials uh just engage with people organize all sorts of gathering that can be shared online live streaming video streaming um set up i don't know organize everything that can be uh you know i see in italy people organizing online aperitivos you know uh, <laughs> i should so have joined you with a glass of wine tonight yeah 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 i got gin tonic <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is not fair <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh you know it's is i i just um use your creativity and um try to reach people and uh, one things that i think is very important try to um involve people ask people to participate in your mm-hmm. process so i think tutorials can be very good so people have time and they can uh, learn something new and yeah from uh, each other absolutely yes so share so today <laughs> Yeah 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 we we learn how to do a streaming on on Instagram which Very can be a very important uh, knowledge during these days and yeah this is what i say share share your your practice uh, invite people to participate in your practice and um and make art you know that's what i was saying stay at home and make art viral no not the corona virus and open and, <laughs> and share it yeah you know that's horrible you know because mm-hmm. i have to say i'm really uh, i don't like this attitude of saying it's just a flu because this belief can be very easily embraced by many people and you just go out and you spread the virus on someone that maybe has a, a poor health and that's not nice mm-hmm. that's not nice stay home be creative and uh, and i wish you good luck and good health thank you dom thank you for this um strong message that you sent out to everyone thanks is there um, thank you if you guys have any question that you're watching online uh, live please send them through we're about to um to to wish good night to to dom because uh, it's quite late now and or maybe wish you to have a nice dinner i don't know if you had dinner yet um yeah we're going to have dinner in a bit now. so um uh, yeah, probably so the park gonna... is going to kick in at a... all the, all <laughs> the afternoon there was the balconies no. <laughs> yeah we have a windows and you know already this afternoon there was people playing music and singing and uh um yeah i think you know it's just a way to say you know we are all in the same situation siamo yeah. tutti nella stessa barca no we say we are all in the same boat we say in italy yeah. and uh, i think we are becoming aware of this and mm-hmm. so we are we are thinking then stay together we are stronger yeah absolutely absolutely yes um is there an artwork that you would like to share with us tonight before um before we we close this chat oh wow uh i would like to share the works of the people that are um that have received my invitation and actually sharing their art because i think you know as as we were talking that it's very important to 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 be together and uh i think the best artwork at the moment is that of uh, you know collaboration and so a kind of turn the practice into a performative act so the artworks that i like to share with you are the artwork shared on the on our website white page gallery because can many can you can you show us on the screen uh yeah 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 sure i'm going to going to just so maybe turn the... the camera and um yeah i will i will screen. because 
I think this is the this is what we 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 got to do. We it's, it's a very ugly moment, you know. The 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 the, the vibes are very negative and uh, the bad thoughts. So we need beauty. We need to surround ourselves with beauty and put art on every screen. And uh, what I'm gonna show you. This is our website. Can you see it? Oh my God, this cable. <laughs> um, this is, yes, sorry. This is the website. And on the website, if you scroll, yeah, if you scroll down, you come across, these are all the white pages. And uh, clicking on the white pages, you can reach the different projects. I'm going to show you some of those. And... Um, so I think this is the best way of, uh, uh, like, I show you where there are artworks. This is the white page gallery by Anna Utopia Giordano, who is showing a, a video by Antonello Matarazzo, which I can play for you. And okay, um, I think if, if you don't mind just to type in the names of the artists as well, so that people can... Yeah, sure, I, I will, I will. This is a video by Antonello Matarazzo, I can show you the name. Can you see the name here? Yes. Thank you. And uh, the artist hosting this uh, this white page is called uh, Anna Utopia Giordano. I will write the name later in the in the in the messages. Then we have uh, also uh, a white, white page gallery by Fuori Visioni Festival is a contemporary art festival in uh, in uh, in Italy in Piacenza, and they are showing a project by Alice Biazzi. It's called Sacra. Uh, here there are some videos from the from this project. I will quickly show you. These are some of the images from the video. And uh, the name of the artist is Alice Biazzi. Can you see her? Mm -hmm. Thank you. She's yes. from, if, she, you, if you don't mind, just to write it in the chat. So that yeah, yeah, I will. I, I don't do it now, so otherwise I will move the screen. It will be yes. a little bit annoying, but I promise I will. Thank you, Dom. And um, this is the No School um, Paris. is an independent art academy. And is run by Benjamin Goulon, I was saying earlier. And, um, and the No White Page Gallery is showing a project by uh, Jocelyn McDonald. And it's called Apocalypse is Now. And is a page with all of her works. She does uh, e-waste and e-recycling uh, fashion and garments, accessorize. This is the project. And also, this is my uh, project, it's called Outbreak. And um, there are many works featured at the moment with uh, different artists who have answered my call. And we have works by um, Fuster, who is an Australian artist. There are generative animation by Claudia Chieranni, she's a Neapolitan architect. We have uh, videos by Rino Petrocciello, who is a creative technologist from uh, Avellino, here in uh, Italy. Then we have glitch works by Sarah Goodman, an uh, artist from uh, Chicago. We have um, collage works by um, Anna Utopia Giordano, uh, artist and um, from uh, from uh, Napoli. Then we have. Um, works by Angela Leiva, who is from uh, Mexico. We have a work by Daniel Temkin, an American artist, and also a work by Elena Romankova. So many artists to check out. We'll, we'll make sure to add over the... Yeah, I will send you the names and, and probably, yeah, the easiest way if I send you the link and uh, you, uh, you can... Uh, um, scroll your way through the pages, you know. Mm -hmm. I say, don't go for a stroll, go for a scroll. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you know, this is, this is okay. what we're doing now. 
Okay, well, it's been a and pleasure to, to talk to you tonight, Dom, and thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Serena. Your journey You're doing and um, Glitch Art and the digital art you've been experimenting. Um, I'm, I'm thank sure you. there will be so many more questions, but I hope everyone who's been watching this live will get in touch to Dom and ask him more questions uh, yes. in the course of the week. Um, yeah, so thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the rest thank of the you. evening and stay creative. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another live. Thank you. Stay positive, stay creative. Thank Ciao. You, Dom. Ciao. Thank you. Ciao.